Hello everybody, this is Kevin from Inspiring How You See That. We're the inspirational channel that goes behind the scenes, interview some of your favorite artists, entertainers, and much more. So we also do these uh, Tech Tuesdays on Tuesdays, of course, and today we're gonna be talking about the uh, Creality CR6 Max printer. This is usually the printer that we usually discuss. Of course, uh, most uh, 3D printers are somewhat similar. So again, make sure you do like and subscribe. So that way you get notifications to anything that we're putting out there um, that may be helpful to you. So today we're going to be talking about the filament feed. This, this kind of goes back to some of the old previous videos that we put out there. And we did have some questions in regards to that. Now each video, we're going to try to do different Tech Tuesdays in regards to that. So we keep it to the question that's asked. Uh, so what we had a problem with and the, the question that we're going to be reflecting on today is going to be the filament feed uh, question in regards to the gear and everything that we had talked about in a previous video was okay. They said their gear was okay, but their filament just wasn't feeding correctly. So this is a, is a pretty simple fix. Now what we always see a lot of times when you get a new printer there's so many apps out there that could, you know, the, the splicers and all the different, you know, added things that the companies make out there that uh, somewhat are helpful and other times can cause an issue. Uh, don't try to go, go and use their applications, what we don't recommend because half the time their applications don't even have the CR6 uh, Max on it. Uh, it has uh, the, I believe the SE and a couple other ones that are similar. Um, and totally different and so it could screw up your filament feed it could screw up your splicer it could screw up a lot of things you you would be surprised so that that's the fix uh, make sure you download the the Creality app use their app use their splicer use their settings and as you see here um, there's there's several of them to pick from and then you know they have all the they update it fairly regularly and in the machine you can also do this in the app you can change the height, the diameters, the settings, the feed settings, and we'll get into probably you know more of these you know detailed settings. There's just so much stuff that we could be here for hours talking about settings, but you just kind of have to tinker with it. But most of the time, when you splice it out from their app onto your CR6, you know your drive, and to print it, you don't have to do much with the printer, and it isn't going to screw up that feed. So that should fix that problem. Now, if it doesn't fix that problem and you have additional issues or it's still not feeding for some odd reason, let us know. We can kind of put out a different video. I mean, there's so many different things as far as feeding too that can be, you know, a hold up within the printer. And we can talk about some other uh, parts and pieces uh, that can cause that and or upgrades that can help you with that. But this is usually the most common problem is just use Creality site uh, to download their app, download it, and then it should cure the problem. So we, we hope that helps. And again, make sure in the comments, put anything that you guys are having problems with and or even you know tips for us that may be helpful to us that, uh, that we have, you know, haven't experienced or you know, put out there yet. And we, we'd be more than happy to kind of check that out. So again, we'll see you on the next one.